Hey everyone, it's Ashpreet and today I'll show you how to run Llama 3 and build a fully local RAGE application. What we'll do today is connect Llama 3 to a knowledge base of websites and PDFs that we're going to store in a vector database and then ask questions of it using a streamlit application. The full code for this application is under the file and is under a file data cookbook. So Fork can clone this repository and go to the cookbooks LLMs Olama RAG folder where you can find the code for this app we're going to be running today. Once you've cloned this repository, open it up in the code editor of your choice. Again, FireData, Cookbooks, LLMs, Olama RAG folder, and then start up your terminal where we'll run this application. We've given step-by-step -step instructions. So first you'll install RAG Olama, which we'll use to run the Llama 3 model. Then we'll create a virtual environment where we'll install our dependencies like PG Vector, Olama, Streamlit, FireData, which run this application. Then we'll run PG Vector using Docker, which will provide storage and vector database for our application. Finally, we'll run our app using Streamlit, and we're good to go. So we have our app running, which is local rag with Llama 3 and PG Vector. You can add any model you like. Today we're going to be playing around with the Llama 3 model. We'll add a URL to the knowledge base or we can add PDFs. We'll play around with the URL and I want to show you what happens behind the scenes step by step. So we'll add the TechCrunch release for the Llama 3 models. Behind the scenes, the assistant will crawl the website and add the documents one by one to our vector database. It's added three documents and now we can ask questions like what did Meta release? So Llama 3 is going to respond with that meta release, a new uh, series of generative AI models, Llama 3 8B and Llama 3 70B. So what's happening behind the scenes is that we're creating a file data assistant that is querying the vector database or the chat history, whatever it needs to generate this answer. So what is file data? So this is where our assistants come into play. FireData is a framework for building AI assistance with memory, knowledge, and tools. What we notice is LLMs like Llama, GPT-4, or Cloud Haiku, they have limited context and they can't take actions. So what we do is we add memory, knowledge, and tools and turn them into usable AI assistants. Knowledge is very simple to understand. It's your business contacts, it's your PDFs, JSON, website, docs, whatever extra information you provide to the LLM. Memory is the chat history or the summaries. This allows the LLM to have long-term conversations uh, with the user. Now, when you go to ChatGPT, it can already have these long-term conversations, have this memory built in, but you're working directly with an open source LLM or with the API, you need to provide this memory separately. FireData takes care of that for you. Finally, the last addition, which we love, is adding tools to our LLMs meaning we can now ask the LLM to search the web for information, send emails, run queries, but this is mostly reserved for the more powerful models like Llama 70B or GPT-4 or Claude 3. Uh, so let's go back to our assistant. So next to the readme file, so the app is where we're running our application. So, so this is the full Streamlit application. You can read through the code, update it, make it your own, but the part I want to talk about is this assistant, which is under the assistant file. So we're creating a file data assistant that takes the Llama 3 model running on a Llama, adds storage to it using a Postgres database, adds a knowledge base to it, which uses the PG vector database, which provides three references to the prompt, and does a few extra things, like it tells the LLM to respond in markdown format, it adds date time to the LLM, uh, to the system prompt, and it describes the assistant using a set of instructions. It tells it what to do using a set of instructions. Now, again, this is just a formatting for the system prompt. At any time, you can use your own system prompt using the system prompt variable. That's fine too. Now, let's see what happens behind the scenes with these values. I'm gonna clear my terminal so I can see exactly what's going on open up our RAG application again and see and say, tell me more about Llama 3 models. Now behind the scenes, we'll see that first the assistant searches for relevant documents from the database, VectorDB. 
Then it adds the system prompt. Again, this is just a formatting benefit. You can use your own system prompt, no issues. Generates the user prompt with the context from the knowledge base and then returns the answer from the LLM. And that's it. That's your local RAG application built using Llama 3. If you have any questions, drop by in the Discord, create a GitHub issue, and uh, see you around. Thank you.